So literally speaking, menopause means the last or final period. But in reality, it's much more complex than that. So the usual age for menopause is about 51. But some women start menopause as early as 45 and others as late as 55. The symptoms of menopause are usually due to decline in the estrogen, which is a female hormone which is predominantly produced in the ovaries. So the early and common symptoms occur in almost 80% of the women and they are basically hot flushes and night sweats. But as time goes on, you could also have mood changes, loss of libido, lack of concentration, joint pain, disturbed sleep. And then as the estrogen declines further, you would have changes in the vagina and in the bladder. So the changes in the vagina will make, will cause vaginal soreness, vaginal dryness, uh, pain during intercourse, and the bladder symptoms are rushing to the toilet, going more frequently, going in the night. And the very late symptoms of menopause are um, deterioration in bone health and cardiac health. It varies. Usually it's about one to two years, but sometimes in some women it can take several years, um, even up to 10 years. The first and foremost thing is to maintain a healthy lifestyle, maintaining an ideal body weight, exercising, reduce caffeine intake and alcohol intake, stop smoking. But for some women, this is just not enough and they need more help. And that is to replace the hormones that your ovaries have um, stopped producing with menopause by HRT, which is hormone replacement therapy. So the common side effects of HRT, they're very mild. So you could have breast tenderness, mood changes, headaches. And these will resolve after three months or sometimes you may need to change the preparation. So ideally, most commonly, it will take up to three preparation before you find the right one. There's a lot of myths about HRT. So when can you start it? How long can you take it? Are there any contraindications? But there are very few contraindications and most women can take HRT. And you just need to speak to your GP and your specialist about it.